that was uh, I mean, yeah. first day of pads, that was a short practice thing for you. Like, what do you like? What were you trying to get out of day one in pads to get a sense of? Same thing we try to get out every day. We try. There's things we got to work on and improve. Put the pads on. These guys have been working pretty good. I mean, we're not going to go up. It's just another part of the ramp up, Mike. So you're coming off a day off. Um, and, and I think that's where the league and everybody using all the information we have and the data we have to get, to get smarter as we ramp these guys up. So you come out here first day in pads, and you're not going to have some long three-hour practice. I thought our guys competed pretty well today, and I, and I thought I was, took another step in the right direction. Brian Edwards, Saturday. Yeah, I mean, look, it's nothing that we consider uh, long-term, but I'm not going to give a daily report. It'll be just like all of our guys, they're on different return to play. Um, but until we, you know, we have to get the injury report, uh, I, I can tell you it's nothing that we consider long term. Uh, we'll take it day by day. Dion, uh, you all going to check back in with him? Is uh, he close to returning? Dion I'm not going to give a timeline on him, but uh, obviously, D Light, our job is we check on all of our players every day. I said we'll have a better, we'll better, better idea, but it doesn't mean I'm going to come out here and give you a State of the Union every day on Dion Jones. Um, he's working like all of our guys to get. What's that? You said a week last week, so I waited a week to double Yeah, check. but what was our first practice? Was it Wednesday? What's today? Monday, right? Yeah. yeah. So he, he's, he's working, and uh, I don't have a firm timetable for you. So, again, I, I know how to count to seven, and it hasn't been a week yet. What are you liking from um, Demir Bird? It looked like he had a nice diving catch there. Like, yeah, uh, he's coming out here. There's a, there's a group of guys that receive rooms. Uh, a lot of good competition going uh, guys that we signed that, that are in here that are in great shape, Hodge, Tamir, Alden, Cam Batson, uh, Darby, those guys are all in there in the mix competing, but uh, Bird showed up, showed up again today. Part of the first day off, you pleased with the way the team responded to having a day off and they bounced back Absolutely. out of work? Yeah, shows the professional character we have. Um, again, we've had good work. And, you know, like, I, like I said, contrary to popular belief, we didn't cancel practice on Saturday. I know that got in the link economy. But that was the last play of practice. So these guys have been working, and uh, we'll continue to strive to improve. When you look at it, again, when you're starting to get into pads, do you want to kind of run more early those first couple days to get running backs and acclimated to contact? It's everybody got to get acclimated. And again, it, it, it might, it, it, the real test will be in Detroit, you know, when you try to simulate some stuff. But until guys get, really get tackled for the first time, and you're, you know, you got to, you're in space making those tackles and stuff we work on every day, we're just not taking guys to the ground. And uh, just part of the, of the build up. Coach, anybody distinguish themselves as far as the offensive line? Yeah, sure. Jake and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and as you know, teams used to practice in pads a lot more than now. Right. So, do you pay closer to attention to how guys are responding when you're, when you're in pads now because you don't have that many opportunities? Yeah. Uh, I know I try to you try not to get too nostalgic, you know, walking up the hill to you know, two miles uphill both ways like you did to go to school, Jeff. But uh, you know, the, the, the fortunate that you know you got guys like Dean who's been coaching for a hundred years and, and guys we got a, we got an experienced staff and then I was thankful to work for Joe Gibbs, so I've seen, you know, how he ran an old training camp. The rules are what they are and it's all relative and we try to be smart, but we try to be intentional and trying to build these guys up. But uh, you wanna see really day after day, I think this week's a good proving ground. It's a long week for these guys, and and uh, I think we'll have a pretty good idea about people by the end of the week. You'll find out more about guys individually than you would have just in different shows or, or yeah, you or think so. Obviously, so. so, yeah, they have the grind. It's, just, it's not just physically, but also mentally. Uh, you know, there's, there's so much physical uh, movements that going out here, but the mental part is what can wear some guys out too. Been at this for a while. Just in your career, how for you? How often does it, how long does it continue to take for you to figure out? All right, I think a guy's got her. I think a guy's improved. Versus, I'm, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, case by case, there's some guys that you think that, that take pretty good jumps. Year two, year three. There's some guys that you hope to work through stuff that you may feel take a step back, or they may never get it. And you know, it's talking about the perfect time to. Whether you make a decision, hey, this guy's ascending, or he can't do it. Um, to next part, some some funny narratives. You know, I joke with you guys about hot takes in the public. There's been some hot takes in private on guys that have gone on or were close to getting traded that are probably going on to become, you know, all pro players. Uh, just give it a little more time, and it, it, it's, it's 
never going to be perfect, but it's do the best you can every day to try to evaluate that and make those decisions. Balance in your in your kind of position, like because at some point you have to make decisions. You do, and you got to make and you're going to make clear decisions. Um, you try to be as objective as possible. You try to take emotion out of it, and because that's hard. I think it's the hardest thing to do is to not be emotional when a guy has a bad practice or ran the wrong round on one play, and, you, and you're fired up about him. That's why you need to take a step back and to really be objective. How's the punter competition coming? Uh, I, don't know who's I don't know the vet. Do you let you taking fines here? You're the vet. <laughs> How's that punting competition, uh, you know, going? And then the long term. I know you got. You know, that one's a little bit different. We obviously uh, had pretty big expectations for for Pinion for Bradley. You know, he's the vet, and uh, as he's out here, but Seth's the guy we're enjoying working with, and they'll have opportunities, but. I mean, it's not. I mean, Bradley. We anticipate him being the main guy, but that's a guy that's we're in here to develop. We'll see how that happens. I mean, we'll play the best guy, but with, with first the offensive line, is, is there a timeline that you would like to have that set so that they can kind of get some same, continuity same together? I mean, obviously, you'd rather sooner than later you would to have chemistry, but you're going to have to deal with injuries and guys that can go in there and a pinch and play a spot, whether it's a swing tackle or a guard has to go in there and play center or vice versa. Uh, you'd rather it sooner or later, but. We'll let it play out when we feel is necessary to make that decision. This all-line competition with you being a former lineman, right? The physicality. What are you looking for? Well, it's just not just physicality. I mean, you, you want guys that play physical, but you want guys that have technique and can do the minimum job requirement and block their guy. You know, and it sounds so simple, but there's a it's a competition in there, and it's a, a lot of a lot of conflict inside. So certainly. You like the guys that have that physicality to them and that intent, but they got to be able to have the emotional control and the mental capacity. There's a lot of things we ask them to do pre-snap, and I don't think these guys get enough credit for how intelligent these guys are. Also, there's a play clock going, and you may package a play, and it can change your assignment. It's like, oh, well, I'm going to have to sit here, and I'm about to set on Aaron Donald. Oh, wait, nope, I'm backside cutoff, and it can go like that. So there's a lot of things you see at the line of scrimmage, your decision makings, they hesitate, can they anticipate their technique, and uh, so a lot goes into it. Yeah, it's busy with uh, Rashad. He was talking about taking some of the younger guys out for dinner, getting to know them and about the culture. What are you seeing out of him early and about that veteran leadership you get through that? Yeah, uh, very pleased with him so far. Uh, obviously a guy we were familiar with. Um, I think, you know, he, he sees the opportunity. He's here on a one-year contract. Uh, guys had some success and, you know, he, he was available and he's here to, to prove that, uh, he, you know, the flashes he had in Tennessee. So I'm excited with, about Rashawn and hopefully he continues to, to improve. I know you, uh, you've you got decisions to make on the O-line who starts going to but how do you feel about the group maybe compared to the group last year at this point? Yeah, certainly. Um, I think we're farther further along. I think, guys, uh, there's, there's also some things, too, about the developing and consistency. You talk about scheme. You talk about coaching. I think a lot of times, too, that you, that you see this happen all the time in this league. It's, it's kind of comical. People get concerned with some – stats that may not matter here and they, they make these grand acclamations and people overreact and you're flipping through position coaches and it's times you need to make sure that you're sound in what you're doing and you, I think there's a lot of growth in that room and been very pleased with the 95% of that group. Um, certainly that's why I do like the preseason. We're going to get a good evaluation on these guys and how, how they play and we'll have three opportunities and two joint practices or two teams with joint practice. I don't want to discredit my mother, but I, um, yeah, you know, I don't, I've gone on record, I, I don't really don't compare myself, to, you know, I, I, I was thankful I had two great parents. Um, I never thought that any of my siblings or my parents, any, and I've gone on multiple records, never thought anything they did, something I did. Uh, just thankful I've got a great family and good parents. It's not a family business. It's a big corporation, um, publicly traded. Um, I, we all chase your passion, and we're fortunate enough to have the opportunity to do that. Some people don't ever have those opportunities, and, and certainly uh, chase a passion. And I love this sport, and I have since I was a little kid. Arthur, this this team is much bigger than the team you had a year ago. Have you already seen that show up in practice, or you feel it out there? Yeah, certainly in the lines of scrimmage, you can. Um, and that's what I was talking about, you know, some of the stuff and 
you know, challenging guys outside. You know, it's been good for our corners as well. Um, and it's really good for our defense too, just uh, even the rush angles and, and guys transitioning and having to defend a guy that could take, pull the ball down and run. I mean, that's, that's about half this league now. It feels like quarterbacks that can break contain. For a lot of these players on this like one year kind of prove it deal, what is the difference in coaching like that where a lot of people are trying to make a key? Well, you try to look at the positives. I mean, you need that competition, and, and it's just the reality of where we're at. I said, you get obstacles thrown in here, and uh, you got, it's my job to find solutions, not to make excuses, and that's what we're trying to do. So some of it's not a necessity, and some, and some of it is certain guys that we we want to get a look at them. I think the, the thing that gets scary the most is if you, you give out a bunch of big money on a free agent contract, and you have no idea about the guy's work habits. And so there, there's a lot of opportunity here, and guys are earning jobs, and maybe they earn a second contract with us. Did it change kind of the, the vibe of the team when like all these people are, you know, just embrace the level of competition and drive for these guys? You know, when you yeah, get paid, you know, I, but, you, but you want that every year, and, and, it's, and it's hard. I mean, you got to make sure that the guys you reward are the right guys because if you don't, the worst thing you can have is somebody get satisfied and they stop working. And so every year it's our charge, no matter if you have a lot of success, to make sure you get the right guys in here because every year is a new journey. Uh, just quickly, Terry told us Brian Edwards had a shoulder. Is that a minor feel like you mentioned the other day? Just plenty of update on him. Um, like I said earlier here, you can take the statement and okay. just go on that. So I, I don't anticipate anything long term, but we'll see. We yeah, are the, NFL, and... the NFL gave Deshaun a six game. Yeah, I, mean, I, I focus on our team. Uh, I, like I said, I don't ever claim to have all the facts, and I'm not going to give you a take on league issues. I'm just going to focus on the Falcons and where we're at right now. Well, uh, I didn't want to um, – was that half speed or three quarters? or what? How did y'all try to – I know you're talking about we're using them back in. I know that wasn't full go, but I don't know what y'all – what do y'all call the speed today? Speed, that's fast. you watching? Yeah, I'm watching, but I, I don't – I know what I saw, but they're I don't know what different periods. Yeah. Basically. Like, they're, they're, not every period is full speed, but right. practicing. I mean, you want to know, watch the I tape? I don't know if y'all call it or what did y'all call it or whatever. I didn't know how to catch rather than kind of. Yeah. We practiced. And there are certain periods where you, you may not go full speed when you're, when you're in some teach periods, but we practice.